Hi guys and welcome back. My name is Rico Stefan. I'm a graphic designer and digital artist. On this channel, we show you how to create better designs and better images. Well, today I will show you how to create a beautiful composite background. It's very, very easy to, 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 to do and we will go into much details to allow you to create that in the best way. And by the way, if you're new to this channel, think of subscribing. Okay, let's get to it right away. Okay, I've got this image open and I've got this one open. Okay, and what I want to do, I want to take this image, uh, this uh, this sky, the, the, the first half of this sky here, and I want to uh, merge it here uh, to replace the top part of this. Let, let, let me let, let, let me show you that. First of all, the first thing I'm gonna I'm gonna do is to verify the different dimensions of uh, of my image. This is very very important when you create composites to uh, to know the dimensions of your of uh, all your images so that you don't bring, for example, if this image is bigger than this one, uh, when I bring it, uh, it does not uh, it will not fit. Let me show you that. For example. This is a very big image. Let's check that out. Image, image size. This is uh, 4,280 uh, by 2,000 pixels. This is the, 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 the dimension. And uh, if you look at this image right now, image size here, that's only 2,200 uh, pixels. That's smaller. This is smaller than this one. Okay, what I'm gonna do, I will in the, I can't <laughs> enlarge this one. So what I will do, I will rather reduce the size of this image so that when I bring it in, it can fit properly, okay? Image size, I will bring this to 2200. Press okay. Okay, here we go. And now I've got the image. If I verify this size of this image, uh, you will see it here, it's 2200. You can also verify this down here. If you've got the option set and document dimension, you will see that. Okay, uh, back to what we were talking about. Okay, now what I will do, I will take this image and send it here over this image. And we will explain what and how we'll do that. The first thing I'm gonna do is to, I, will, I like doing this, convert this to small object so that I can retain the size and all the things in the image here. For example, if I double click on this, this is the original image. Okay, I just close this here and I will do two things I can do. First of all, I can click and drag this here. Okay, and as you see, it fits perfectly simply because they're basically the same dimensions. This is one way to, to do that. Let me undo that. Uh, instead of dragging, you could also come here, make sure you select the layer, then edit, copy, and you can come here uh, on, the, on this image here, edit and paste, it will get in properly, okay? You could also use uh, the keyboard shortcut by simply coming here and uh, command C uh, on the image and come here, command V. It will work in the same way. That's just giving you a few tips here. Okay, as I said, what I want to do, I want to keep the, the top part of this image here. And then I want to also keep the bottom part of this image here, just to create a kind of composite. I'm showing you that because we will be doing that with the background of our course here. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I've got two ways I will show you how to how you can accomplish that. And uh, first of all, but before doing that, before using those two techniques, we will first create a new uh, a layer mask a mask on the top image here. To do that, I can come here, just down here at the bottom, and click this. It will create a a layer mask on this one. So what I will do is I will basically hide this bottom part so that I can reveal uh, the, the bottom image. Let me show you that. Okay, uh, I, we will be, first of all, we will use the brush technique. The first thing we're gonna do, make sure that 
your foreground color and uh, foreground and background color is black and white. If it is not the case, just on your keyboard, just press D on your keyboard and it will switch to uh, the default one. For example, you could be having different colors like this. I don't know. Let's just just demonstration, okay? Different colors. So to do to reset that, just press D on your keyboard and it will reset back. Okay, I will go to my brush tool by pressing D or simply coming here. Make sure that I've got the soft brush selected, okay? Uh, right here, or you can go in your general brushes and select that here, okay? And then uh, what I'm gonna do, I will enlarge my brush. And remember, uh, an important thing to note about layer masks is that uh, white will reveal and black will conceal. White will reveal things, will show things, and black will hide those things. Okay, uh, as you can see, my foreground color is right now. Right now, it's white. If I paint on this, nothing will happen simply because white will show things. For me to be able to hide part of this uh, of this image, I need to switch that to uh, black. Uh, you could also use your on your keyboard. Just press X; it will uh, shift between those two things. Of course, brush. Coming here, making sure that uh, my hardness is completely zero. Okay, so that I have a soft brush. And in terms of opacity, I could leave all those settings here uh, in the same way. They are okay. Then here is the, uh, my foreground color is black. And look at that, if now I paint on this, I'm on this layer mask here, of course, look what happens. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, look at that. Just like this, if I want to reveal uh, back uh, parts of this, of, of this top image, what I do, I just switch this uh, to white. Remember, white will show things. And look at that. I get something that looks like this. Beautiful. Okay, let me just switch that up and back to black. And I have this and, and, and look at that. You, you, you have a beautiful image here. And what I can do, I can come here and say, you know, I could uh, go into and choose a color balance adjustment layer and I could just switch things around and just try to match this to create some sort of beautiful composite just like this okay as you can see this is beautiful okay uh, the next way will be uh, be doing this let me delete this to show you the second technique is that we will uh, we will use gradients okay let's recreate recreate select this my top layer recreate my uh, my uh, uh, my layer mask and then I will shift to the gradient tool here, okay, on the, on the left here. And then I will make sure that my uh, that my uh, that, that that my colors go from black to transparent. This is very important. It's important that it's from black to transparent, okay. And as you remember, we just talked about that. Uh, black will hide things, and of course white will reveal here we don't have white meaning that things will be completely transparent anyway so i will select this make sure i'm, I'm here okay then what i'm gonna do of course if, if your foreground and background color is not uh, white and black or black and white just press d and make sure this is black and what i will do since this is a gradient you see that it, it's black to transparent what I want to hide, I want to hide the bottom part. So what I do, I just click and drag a line. You can hold shift to make sure that it's perfectly straight and you will have the same effect. You can drag it a little bit further. So you will have exactly the same effect on this image. Okay.